smartphones, smartwatch, smart TV. The key behind all these gadgets is the same, the capacity of acquiring and processing data. Dealing with the information is deeply behind all the Internet of the Things age we are living in. What we do not often realize is that this means, ultimately, manipulating electricity, and consequently, it costs energy. As we handle more and more data, this energy has become an issue. Did you know that information and communication technologies carbon footprint was already similar to the plane's fuel one in 2018? What is more frustrating is that a large fraction of all this energy is just waste as heat and the consequent necessity of cooling. But could it be possible to avoid that? Construct, let's say, free highways for our information? As crazy as it sounds, the answer is yes, thanks to some ideas introduced in the scientific community in the 80s. Back then, we have a pretty good understanding of why some materials were better conductors than others. However, we were missing a hidden property, a property that was meant to change our way to look at the materials, the topological class. This property divides all the insulators, those materials that can hardly conduct electricity, into different groups. And this classification stays unnoticed until you put two insulators of different topological class in contact. That is where the magic happens, because even when they are both insulators, in their interface, electricity, and consequently information, can travel without consuming any energy nor producing heat, what is completely amazing. Well, you might be wondering why computers still warm up if all this is true. Well, this is because these materials were not found but predicted at the beginning. But go, don't get discouraged. The good news is that these materials are real, and we grow them every week in my lab. However, there is still a long way to make information travel efficiently inside them. That is for what I'm working every day in my lab, growing these materials in very special conditions and developing tiny, tiny devices with them. Our aim is trying to figure out not only how to improve their quality, but also how to use and exploit them. This is a journey that is just beginning, but who knows? Smartphones could have sounded like magic 30 years ago, so why not to dream with a topological future?